Barred my way. I needed a key. I don't forgot all the controls. Without a key, I'd never get past this door. Someone had left a letter on the counter. Suddenly it all made sense. The bombs, the Russian mob boss making an appearance in person. Gogniti was his usual self. All talk and no walk. After I hit, the Russian has only a couple of guns left, and they can be bought. There's no freaking way he has the guts to try anything after that. As it turned out, the Russian had plenty of guts. One thing he could count on, you push a man too far, and sooner or later he'd start pushing back. There was a key on the shelf. out of me. <clears throat> Thought I'd heard someone else up the stairs. Oh, <coughs> Ooh, I almost didn't make it.
Ah, oh, this game is the bombs that destroyed all the stairs up to Lupino's office. The alternate route led there by way of adjoining rooftops. It's never been this cold. Never ever. It's like the sky's falling. Yes, sir. It's the end of the world as we know it. I don't feel fine. I don't feel anything. Not a thing. I'm freezing my butt off. Can I give these guys some money? <laughs> I don't know if I have any money to give. Really want a modern Max Payne man. Do they do it? Right. To get to the roof, I'd need to get to the elevator through the locked door up ahead. You know the clowns at the laundry? Me? No. You're no good to me then. What? No, 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 the laundry, yeah. So I know him, yeah. Get me in there. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. I'm with you, eh? Just lead the way. It's coming. It's coming. I'll be taking you. Okay, okay. I'm with you, eh? Just lead the way. It's coming. Can I get up there? Ugh. I might even be able to just walk around. <clears throat> Make sure he's not stuck up here. Yeah. You know how these old games are? There's guns up there if you guys want them. So I think the laundry was this way. It's me. Open up. Let me in quick. Not so fast. The password. John Wu. Come on. Okay, John Wu. All right. Come right in. It's a trap! It's pain! Decent little stock of uh, pain pills. I need to figure out how to activate that without diving. What the hell? 
Sorry, man. What kind of bathroom is this? This looks like a prison. New York City is in crisis tonight, with reports of Valkyrie-related gang war in the streets of the Bronx. Apparently, Max Payne, wanted for questioning in connection with the slaying of a DEA special agent earlier tonight, is waging a one-man war against his former partners in crime. Among the list of casualties so far are notorious Mafia members Joey and Virgilio Finito, as well as Rico Muerte, himself a fugitive from the law and a suspect for several murders in the Chicago area. The NYPD has been placed on full alert. A citywide APB has been put out on Max Payne. Deputy Chief Jim Rivera has promised to take whatever steps necessary to bring him to justice. What those steps may be remains to be seen. For NY CNN TV News, this is Kira Silver. Oh, where do I go now? Um, and I guess not here. Can I jump out a window or something? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jesus, I don't remember that. Excuse me, sir. Anyone in there? Vinny got needy. Crack! The man I've been killing to see. Pain? Pain! Freaking fed! I knew from day one there was something screwy about you. What do you think you're doing? You're a freaking cop. You ain't got squat on us. You can't just come in here waving your peaks like it meant something. Yeah! Oh my god! Oh god, you shot me! Ah! Get dead, <laughs> Pain! What the hell are you waiting? Kill him! Kill him! With pleasure, boss. Got me bailed. I made like Chow Yun fat. Oh, I don't have the health. This is gonna be rough. 
Oh, uh, did I not? I think I forgot to grab the pain pills. Yep. That load time is amazing. Because he wanted to see what his brains looked like splattered on the wall. He's a freaking mad dog. We're running out of men and business fast. Gugniti had been living in mortal fear of his boss. Jack Lupino was a psycho. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> I guess he went this way. Gagnetti was running scared. He could run, but with a bullet in the stomach like a broken bottle of Tabasco, he was quickly running out of time. He knew where his boss was, and I wanted to square things up with Jack Lupino. <laughs> the hell are these analogies? Gagnetti would be moving fast. I don't know about Amy, but it's fear that gives men wings. Spider-Man? To catch him, I'd have to follow his lead. They want me to jump on a train? Ain't no way. Did I make it? <laughs> this was my second <coughs> of the night. The way it started didn't promise anything better than the last one. Freezing wind tearing at my face like sandpaper and razors. Ice hard and slick under my hands and feet. And somewhere in the background, the wail of sirens. The city howling after me. When the train he was riding slowed down, Gagnetti made his move. He's bleeding everywhere. He's gonna die. What? 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 <laughs> what? What? Uh oh. These animations are horrible.
<laughs> Fucking Matrix music. No I don't have the health for this, man. Got him. Jesus. Oh boy. This could be bad. I think I'm gonna get a grenade ready for that guy. There's no damn meds around here. There we go. I missed these last time. Good lord, I've been struggling. What we got in here? Can I get up there? I'm not sure if I'm even supposed to, but... Ugh. See another way around unless I'm just supposed to go down here. something
I died. What the hell? I feel like I'm missing something. There has to be like another way around. Something down here I missed or something. <laughs> looks like an elevator. So I'm just an idiot. My habitual platforming. He's back. He's me, Captain Baseball Bat. Boy. <laughs> I don't know if there's any more people in there, but... food habits. I figured Bravora to be one of the good guys. Fate had just dropped us on different sides in this. But when it came to capturing me, he was way out of his league. I had already ditched the cops a couple of rooftops back. For now.
I hear this fucker running. He's still running from me? I forgot I was even chasing him. Pain! I'll kill you, you lousy freaking... Another one bites the dust. This is too tough. Gagnetti ran out of steam in a dead end alley with steam boiling out of the sewer grates like all the fires of hell were burning high beneath us. It was shake down time. Where's Lupino? Screw you! Bad start, Vinny. Ah! Police brutality! I rate pretty high on that. You, 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 you can't just hurt me in cold blood. Uh, just keep telling yourself that. <gasps> Listen good, candy man. I'm not gonna be anybody's fall guy. I want to know where your boss is hiding. There was no glory in this. I hadn't asked for this crap. Trouble had come to me in big dark swarms. The good and the just were like gold dust in the city. I had no illusions. I was not one of them. I was no hero. Just me and the gun and the crook. My options had decreased to a singular course. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, just don't hurt me no more. Lupino's at Raglan Rock, the nightclub. Book me, take me in the hold me to the freaking jail, just don't hurt me. Your rights will be read at your funeral. Damn. Ragnarok was Lupino's private nightclub, a den of drugs built into an old theater. I knew what waited inside. V had junkies ready to explode in random acts of senseless violence, and Lupino's goon squad, the worst stone cold killers this side of hell. Ragnarok was as inviting as a headache, flickering and flashing to a machine gun beat. The belly of the nightclub was a gothic theme park that began with bondage games and led to the nasty stuff from there. As subtle with its dark message as a cop killer bullet through the heart. Like father, like son. Just like Jack Lupino. on something. <laughs> I'm so confused. The book, 
had never been a bestseller. Given the setting, I was surprised to find that somebody had been passing time reading. The paperback was entitled, The Age of Murder and Storm. The blurb on the back mentioned Norse mythos and Ragnarok, the end of a Viking world with a terrible winter that covered the earth in ice, when vile crimes were rampant and all humanity lost. I could see how somebody impressionable might get it into their head that we were at the end of time. I was also beginning to see what the nightclub and its owner were all about. Zombie demons. Good lord, these are some COVID ass coughs. Running on no health right now. Get some fucking health. Hey. Books on the occult had been piled on the table. The room was stacked with light reading, such as Necronomicon, Witchcraft, and Paradise Lost. Old exotic titles like Malleus Malficarum and De Umbrarum Rainy Novum Portis. Books with pentagrams on their covers, all dealing with the occult and the infernal. Lying between stacks of horror videos and a couple of Ouija boards. The only thing I could take seriously was the thought of Lupino taking it seriously. He had been spending a lot of time getting intimate with the guy downstairs. I 
I need some heels. I wouldn't say anything to his face. He might not. Who knows what he'd do? Oh, me shot your teammate. There's gotta be some meds around here somewhere. It's a blizzard out here. Someone reloading. Lord, it's hard to walk up that. Hmm. 
<laughs> Damn. <laughs> Clunky shooters with platforms. The backstage area led to Lupino's inner sanctum. The hot air inside was like an invisible wall, thick with incense and something else. A sickly sweet smell that made you gag. This was the rotten core of the Big Apple. Lupino lurked somewhere ahead, like a spider at the center of his web, waiting. The vapors in the air started to make my head swim. Torn pieces of a letter lay scattered on the sofa. Janello had threatened Lupino in writing. The note had been torn to pieces, bloody fingerprints all over them. Don't want you to think that one of my boys is not playing with a full deck. Shape up, Jack. We are running a business here. I'd hate to send the trio to strong arm you. The trio were the Don's notorious henchmen. It was obvious that Lupino hadn't been intimidated by the threat. Lupino's notes covered the table. Jack Lapino was crazy, all right. The table was scattered with notes of demented arcane nonsense written in rusty blood. A mishmash list of demons, devils, and dark gods of old. Beelzebub! Asmodeus! Baphomet! Lucifer! Loki! Chitulu! Lilith! Hela! Blood given to you all. He was after that old Faustian deal. Your soul for power and fortune. Just sign in the dotted line with your blood. Lupino's notebook lay on the pedestal. Jack Lupino was crazy, all right. Mythic wolves let loose to devour the sun and the moon. Lupino is the wolf. I'm Mr. Beast, the big bad Fenris wolf. I'm the end of the world man, wearing the flesh of fallen angels. After Y2K, the end of the world had become a cliche. But who was I to talk? A brooding underdog Avenger alone against an empire of evil, out to write a grave injustice. Everything was subjective. There were only personal apocalypses. Nothing is a cliche when it's happening to you. The flesh of fallen angels! Come to me all! Astaroth, Beelzebub, Asmodeus, Baphomet, Lucifer, Loki, Satan, Chitulu, Lilith, Ella! Blood to you! This dude has lost his mind. Skin of reality. I've seen it. The corruption of flesh. <sighs> I'm the wolf, yeah! I am the wolf! It's close. It's coming. You have come. A witness to the time. It's now! I will rise to her side! Oh, I the world. I'm beyond the world. Torn pieces of a letter lay scattered on the sofa. Lupino's notes covered the table. Lupino's notebook lay on the pet. The flesh of fallen angels! Come to me all! Astaroth, Beelzebub, Asmodeus, Baphomet, Lucifer, Loki, Satan, Chitulu, Lilith, Ella! Blood to you all! <laughs> That's a hell of a... Sentence to say.
All is better now than it did. Somewhere, and this one was the Empire State Building of Catches. The Vina was pumped up and dying to go 15 rounds with a mutant alligator. And then he started this spooky monkey talk straight from a bad dream. Mine. I have tasted the flesh of fallen angels. I've tasted the devil's green blood. It runs in my veins. I've seen beyond the world of skin. The architecture of blood and bone arrow. Death is coming. She is coming. And hell follows with her. This is the twilight winter. I am ready to be her son. Her time is now. And all who stand in her way must die. <laughs> <laughs> You'll die! You'll <laughs> die! Now! All! Murder, murder. When the Pino finally went down, I wanted to make real sure he'd stay that way. He was a bad monster. Turn them into friggin' zombie demons from outer space. I think he's dead already. Huh? And that's when it happened. The dead or not, you've got the wrong guy. In stepped this knockout femme fatale holding a gun to my face. I returned the favor. Lisa Punchinello. Lisa Punchinello was the Don's wife. Mona Sachs. Lisa's evil twin. Your safety's off, evil twin. You might hurt someone with that gun of yours. Lisa's the damsel in distress. I'm the professional. I'd blow you away without batting an eye. Sure, and you can check out my credentials splattered all over this joint. Jack couldn't have framed you. Not the state he was in. We're after the same slime bag. Angelo Quincinello's the one who murdered your friend and framed you with it. You know this for a fact. I've got my sources. I don't have a clue these days. I just shoot them as they come. Who put a contract on the Archfiend? This one's mine. I hate the guts of that sadistic wife beater. Why not pool our bullets for this one? I thought you'd never ask. My finger was starting to twitch. How do you like your whiskey? I'm easy, as long as you don't try to slip me a Mickey. You're a real angel, Max. It was good stuff. Tasted sweet as honey going down. Nothing personal. Can't risk you going berserk and getting Lisa killed. <laughs> Damn. Bitch dropped me. was always the same. Violent shapes moving in darkness, old and ugly. The killer's mad laughter was a riddle filled with wicked innuendo. Somewhere, the baby was crying. Good lord, that's disorienting. Should have known. 
snoring next to Lapino's corpse. A comedian. Pictures were filled with good old times. Jesus. Ah, oh, the iconic trail of blood. Oh. No. figured out how to go left immediately. Just intuition, I guess, from playing this as a kid. This game is old as shit. I played this when I was like six. <laughs> is going to be tough. <sighs> Good lord. Oh, I ain't had a bitch. Stuck on this forever as a kid. I don't know if I should go that way or keep this way. I'm assuming I need to get to the baby. No, it sounds like it's that way, fuck. The sound is definitely right here. No! Oh my god. Oh lord. This is gonna suck.
What are you doing? <laughs> God damn it. This is gonna be terrible. Uh, all of the anger from being a child fueling back through me. No, please, Max. Why? I didn't mean to. I'm At least I figured this out pretty quick. Should be able to remember the path. <laughs> Got a hell of a jump on me. Please, God, be the end of all of that. I don't want to do that again. Don't make me get on another blood trail, I swear. That was fucking rough. Slips and lips, shoot them for holes, blow them to bits, vaporize them, disintegrate them. No matter what you do, they'll still be back. Good as new. Michelle's diary lay on the table. Max, no, please, Hello. Max. Why? I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. Murderer! You killed her! Nothing like that ever happens in a real world. bad dream. My head felt two sizes too small for my brain. Max Payne. I envy your name. And the killer was smiling. Pleased to meet you. I'm Frankie the Bat Niagara. 
Niagara, as in you cry a lot. He had a baseball bat and I was tied to a chair. Pissing him off was the smart thing to do. I don't know if that was the smart thing, Max. Right? laugh now and then. Take me, for example. I love to watch cartoons. Cartoon violence is a fascinating thing. Let's take a break. I need to take a leak and maybe grab a cold one at the bar. Don't worry. I'll be back to finish this off. And then, it's checkout time. You play, you pay, you bastard. He swaggered out, and the door clanged shut behind him, locks clicking into place. Everyone makes mistakes. Mine hadn't been to crack jokes about the goon with the bat. He'd have cracked my skull regardless. It hadn't even been to trust a girl with a gun. I had blindly gone after the first bad guy on my hit list when I should have been aiming further up the ladder at the head of the Punchinello family. I couldn't bring myself to be pissed at Mona. Guess I had a soft spot for a pretty face. But when somebody decides to play baseball with your head, you tend to get sore. They had dragged me back to the basement of Lucino's hotel. I was beaten, bruised, and blue. I felt like the chair I had broken to get free. All I had was Niagara's bat, sticky with my own blood. <laughs> Good lord. Without a gun, I'd be no match for Frankie's men. I'd have to play hide-and-seek with him. Sticky with my own blood. Without a gun, I'd be no match for Frankie's men. I'd have to play hide and seek with them. It's Frankie's turn. He'll take care of it. Yeah, I know. I know. So I wouldn't mind having a go at him. It's Frankie's turn. Yo! Melting, Sticky yeah. with my own blood. Without a gun, I'd be no match for Frankie's men. I'd have to play hide and seek with them. It's Frankie's turn. We'll take care. <laughs> hey! Yeah. Oh. Oh. What the All I had was Niagara's bat. That's why I'm getting Sticky with my I don't own blood. Supposed to be detected. Without a gun, I'd be no match for Frankie's men. I'd have to play hide and seek with him. It's Frankie's turn. We'll take care of it. Yeah, I know, I know. I just I wouldn't mind having a go at him myself. It's hey, yeah! <laughs> I remember this being this All damn I had was Niagara's bat. Without a gun, I'd be no match for Frankie's men. I'd have to play hide and seek with them. Same like Frank that. Oh! Oh! All I had was Good Niagara's Lord, bat. I'm taking Without all a gun, of the damage. I'd be no match for Frankie's men. I'd have to play hide and seek with them. Frankie's 
Without a gun, I'd be no match for Frankie's men. I'd have to play hide-and-seek with them. It's Frankie! Hey! Ah! After my 50th try, you can't fuck with me. Strip next to us. Captain Baseball Bat Boy. <laughs> That's a mouthful. Captain Baseboy Bat Boy. Captain Baseball Bat Boy. Good lord. these. about to get murked. Things were fast going from bad to worse. <laughs> this game doesn't look terrible, but man, these old buildings. Hotel. <laughs> Decorated the place with chalk outlines and tied it together with yellow tape. The cops who had stayed behind were dead. Frankie, his boys, and I had the place all for ourselves. These dudes have literal just boxes of shit.
feel like that looks so familiar. I mean, obviously. Just forget about it. <laughs> just forget about it. Hey, just forget about it. That crazy witch, you should have heard her. She was a real scream when the boys caught her trying to cap the Don. Oh, that's friggin' bad. To the trio? That's even worse than what Frankie's doing to that poor bastard downstairs. She's gonna take a long time to die. The mobster muscle on the phone was talking about Mona. Punchinello's trio were nothing but bad news. Come on out here. Is that a cyberpunk sources thing? Like did Cyberpunk the name their character V the because of this gun? Anymore. The body would be delivered to them barely recognizable. Case closed. Don Punginello had the power to be that reliable source, which was no news. But his news was old news. fast developing quite a history true to his words frankie was there having a beer jesus christ how the hell did you get loose got bored waiting thought what the hell we could just as well finish this here fine by me Sounds like I'm going really.
been a lovely audience. The hell? Pancinello messing with V is bad for business all around. But that's not all. There is this guy, Boris Dime, used to pull jobs for me. He's the captain of the cargo ship Charon. Now the bastard Turncourt has gone over to the other side, Poncinello's. The ship's loaded with high-res hardware, guns, my business. If Poncinello gets hold of that cargo, he's won and I have lost. And you'll have your work cut out for you. If you want to get to Poncinello, you need heavy-duty persuaders. I am just the man to get them for you. Change the ship back under my flag, maybe pop two in the traitor dime's head while you're at it. You'll get enough guns to start the apocalypse. You in or out? Let's get this show on the road. Vladimir was one of those old-time bad guys with honor and morals, which made him almost one of the good guys. None of us was a saint. The Brooklyn Riverfront was a maze of rusty containers, sharp bone cranes looming up from the snowstorm. On a night like this, you couldn't help but think of the dark army of dead men sleeping with the fishes, cement shoes in line. No minotaur lurked in this labyrinth, but somewhere out there, on the clanking deck of his cargo freighter, the skipper of the Chiron was waiting, like the ferryman in the river Styx. That's <laughs> that's the fall damage limit. Good one. corner whore. Both of them beat. 
Good God, why are they fucking invincible all of a sudden?
Jesus fucking Christ. Position myself. I found a secret. Rico Muerte had come to town to do more than just sort out family troubles. Exhibits number one, two, and three. A briefcase of money, a sniper rifle, and an envelope with one word neatly printed on a folded piece of expensive paper. Mayor. It didn't sound like a mafia contract at all. It was too cold and too to the point.
Is there a bridge control here? <laughs> My burials that if I keep moving it. seat.
<clears throat> la dee da dee da murdering everyone. That's what I like to see. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Get meds just to lose them instantly. Looks like there's a closet somewhere. Got me with a grenade and it fucked me up. Now I have no help. Hopefully, I get some. A little bit. I've been struggling on hills, man.
Something terrifying about the ambient audio in this game.
on Borisdime's ship. Rust had crept over the side of the cargo steamer a long time ago. Boris Dime would be on board. I'd have to smoke half of his crew to even get near the gangplank. Guns were probably being kept in the hold, buried amidst the rats and oily water. cost you. I bet it was more than his name. Max Payne. Right the first time. You're dead, punk. You sure you're not confusing me with Boris here? But you are right, of course. Pretty soon we should get together and have a talk. Yes. Pissing Punchinello off was a dangerous game. But when people get mad, they make mistakes. I should know. That's where I wanted Punchinello, mad enough to trip over his own feet. Preferably into a grave.
get everything you need? Check. I owe you. Anything you need. This is my solo. When I'm through, Punchinello won't be anybody's problem anymore. Clear as vodka. But anytime you get between a rock and a hard place, just whistle. This could be the beginning of a beautiful friendship. You really get a bang out of this big time gangster act, don't you? Even with all this firepower, I figured I couldn't get to Punchinello at his manor. I could only hope that he wouldn't pass a chance to hear me beg to see he's won. This is Max Payne. I want to cut a deal. Payne, you're a dead man. That's what everybody keeps telling me. I got your ship and her cargo. I want to meet. No pain, no gain. Capiche? You know my restaurant? Yeah, I know it. One hour. Punchinello's restaurant had seen better days. Snow was falling like ashes from post-apocalyptic skies, but that was outside. Things would soon get hot in the Don's restaurant. I knew it was a long shot. Angelo Punchinello actually showing up, but there was no crime in hoping. <laughs> 